During this time of civil unrest, some people may be overwhelmed by the amount of information that they see on social media and, of course, here on the news. Joining us now is doc Dr. Monica Hinton, a behavioral health therapist from Sharp Mesa Vista Hospital. She's going to give us some ways to deal with this. Uh, I think a lot of people are feeling pretty overwhelmed, Dr. Hinton. Yes, they are, um, even myself included. Sometimes I get too overwhelmed with all of the news, the reports, the social media, the Instagram. I would say the best thing to do and probably the easiest thing to do is just turn your television off. Um, it gets too overwhelming. It gets to be too much. The, and you just need to take, give yourself a break. You know, and there are instances. You cannot, go ahead. I apologize, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say that it's really important to be compressed, relax, um, give yourself an opportunity to just de-stress. You know, these are pretty volatile times. Um, you know, it's tough to just turn off the TV. All of us have been at home in lockdown. A lot of people staying home with their kids and everything else because of the pandemic, and they've been doing that for months. So they're already stressed, and now they're consumed with all these racial tensions and protests, you know, inundated with the images and the information. Um, other than, obviously, those things like taking the time to relax and enjoy yourself, what are specific things we can do to deal with this mentally? If we can't turn off the TV because kids are home and everybody needs their their computers on to work at home, what specific things can we do outside of that? We can definitely take some deep breaths. We can talk to friends and neighbors about this um, because it's important to get your feelings and your emotions out. It's important to um, share your concerns. We all are afraid. We, we all are unsure of how this is going to end, when this is going to end, how this is going to turn out. So the best thing to do is talk about it. Talk about your fear so you can do that. If you are a religious person, you can pray. That gives many people peace. If you are a person who likes to meditate, do that. That can give you some relaxation. Dr. It's Hinton. not healthy just to continue to allow yourself to be bombarded by all the information. So that is why I suggest to give yourself that break, even if it's just an hour a day and find something else to do with your kids. But I know people have baked probably everything in their kitchen and they've <laughs> probably, you know, done every art project that they can do. But it's but the things that you've been doing, keep doing them. Um, those things that have helped helped you relax during the COVID, keep doing those things. But most of all, be open to having conversations with other people who have concerns and be open to hear different side, points of view. Because everyone has a point of view, everyone has had some sort of experience. So be open to listen and, and hear. Just sometimes we just need to listen. And on a final note, how do you talk to your family members and your loved ones, especially our kids, about what we're seeing, the racial tensions, the anger, the fear, everything else? How do we talk to them about the information and images that are coming in? I'm going to start with children. Um, with children, some of the images they really should not see. Uh, so that unfortunately and unfortunately goes back to it's almost simple as cutting off the TV, getting, giving them a break, or if you're going to watch television, watch something that as a family you enjoy looking at together. Um, and answer the questions they ask. Sometimes children just don't need to know all the information because it's too much for them to handle. So answer the questions that your child may ask of you to the best of your ability. And it's okay to be a little bit vulnerable. I know as parents, we want to be strong and protect and, and um, not let our children be hurt. But it's okay to be a little vulnerable with your children and let them know that you're concerned, you're afraid, you're not sure what's going to happen. And if they have questions about what racism is and what's going on, answer their questions. Just answer what they ask of you. 
Um, and another thing that's really great with working with children is you want to get down to their level. Don't stand over them and have this conversation. Sit down with them, even if it means hugging them, hold their hands. Make sure that you, as the parent, are going to be there for them. And, um, and our children are very resilient. Children can get information and make a decision about doing something to help. So and really it's just... I'm sorry, it's really just about being very honest with them then really at this yes. point and just being yes. as honest as you can be about how you're mm -hmm. feeling as well. Doniker, yes. Dr. Monica Hinton, thank you so much for your time and your insight. I wish I could talk to you all day long. I think a lot of people need that kind of coping and help coping uh, during these times uh, when they are so stressful. But thank you once again for your time and your insight. All right, thank you for having me.